Another small walk. Oh, a rare plane. I remember last year, you, 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 for weeks and months, you never saw a plane. EasyJet was all grounded. That's the first plane today, anyway, I've heard. They are easing the quarantine rules, and some countries have been given the green light, which means places like Malta, you can visit without any restrictions, without any... Um, Quarantine, I think. There's amber, green, and red, of course. So here we are, another walk by the River Banwell. That's what this is. The start of the River Banwell, apparently. Of course, all this has become broader and clearer. It used to be just a little tiny path. Um, since the COVID and all the people out walking. There used to be a lot of people coming out and their families. Everyone was off work. Um, children weren't at school. So, you know, this place was heaving with people. So talk about trying to keep it under control. People were out more than ever. Anyway, it's life, isn't it? Viruses are life. We've had to deal with them before. Some have been eradicated, like smallpox. TB is making a comeback. They make a comeback sometimes because they... What they do is... Um, they mutate. That always reminds me of a person, that blue... just a sign but it always looks like a person when you look at it from afar it just looks like a person standing looking out that's where the old pier used to be there used to be a jetty there with big strong pillars big strong pillars that they now have over a similar type pier at Hinkley Point I wondered if they someone said they wouldn't have done that I thought oh, why not they took those pillars I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't use them part of Hinkley Point, personally. Look at all these thistles that are going to be coming out soon. It's going to be there late. A lot of stuff's late. I can tell from my previous videos of flowers that are coming out a month later. So maybe we will, we will get a late summer. Although, like I've said before, August last year, the leaves were losing their, the trees were losing their leaves a month early. Yeah, this place was heaving last year. I got a feeling in the end it, they did start even restricting people coming to Sand Bay from places like Bristol and that. If you couldn't walk to it, I think they were going to find you. I see this as my local area. I see, I see the woods and Sand Bay is uh, part of my walks. I've been doing them for years. Right, over now, take some more pictures. I'll be going up that way in a minute. I might be safe. It's not. doesn't feel too thunder. Right then. There's the priory. Still shot for me now. I know how to get in there if I wanted to. I don't need to. I'll wait till it opens. I've got loads of video footage of it. My lovely hills that I've done all recently. Crooked P. Over the last two weeks, I've been all over there and up Brentnell. Yeah, it's a lovely. I'm hoping it's not going to thunder and lightning while I'm up here. I'm hoping I can get round. The very last time I came, it, it was a bit of a worry. The clouds got very dark and low, and they had sort of said there could be. 
lots of walks I'd like to do. I've got extras. I'm just fitting in the ones I haven't been able to do, my locals. Um, there's uh, one of the seven bridges. There's Clevedon Pier and along there, look. That's probably open to the public at the moment. Poet's Corner, that hill there. I couldn't, I haven't been over there for years. It could be 10 years. I did a lot of cycling over that way. A lot of cycling. But it hasn't been cycling weather. To be quite honest, it really hasn't. The weather's been atrocious. I can't go cycling when it's, like this is too windy for me on a bike. It's all right at the moment, it's cooling. When you're walking, it's a cooling type feeling. But, to be quite honest, um, I don't think, I've had, I've been out on my bike two or three times this year. And, uh, they were, they were all right those days. Right, going into the old MOG place. Still got the old signs up. Every now and again, they have the gate open. Every now and again they do. Whether I'll be able to get out the other end is another thing. Might not be able to, see? If, just while I'm here, I'm wandering now I'm here. Just while wandering. It's about a year ago I wandered here actually. Yeah, sometimes they have the gate open, sometimes they don't. Um, for those of you who know me, I've recorded this place. <laughs> right, the gate was open, so I came in. I'm just having a quick look around the MOD place. I'm hoping that I can get out of there, though. I'm hoping there's left a hole in the wire. If not, I'll just walk around. Every now and again, they do a lot of repairs because the sheep are in here. Yeah, so I can smell, you can't get it on the camera, but I can smell the seaweed and the sea air and the breeze. <sighs> Planes again in the sky. Yeah, all these areas I know when they were had buildings. I've spoken about it so many times, folks. But if you're for, if you're a new visitor, I've got a video of here and loads of photos when this was buildings, offices, sleeping quarters, kitchens. You had the lookout post here. It's about two or three stories high. Where the guards, the uh, MOD security would have their lookout post. And this was all very high security. Um, there lots of experiments were done from out here. Cables l laid under the, <sighs> under the sea. This was a block here. None of this is new to me. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm just hoping there's a way. Yeah, I think I can see a hole. It's okay. I'm only doing a very quick scan today because I've come out late. I didn't know how hot it was going to be and how far I was going to go. But there is a bit of cloud and a welcoming breeze. Yeah, all these were buildings here. <sighs> yeah, lots of electrical equipment was here, lots of cables. Um, here, main, the main base was here. And um, 
It was the MOD, and there was a lot went on in the wars. And on the beaches, I think there's lots of remnants of shrapnel, um, bomb cradles. It's tides coming in, so you can't see now. But I've done it all on other videos for those who have not, who might have only just started to see me. Whether you'll ever see this video is another thing, because I rarely share these. It's mainly time, and I tend to share the big hill walks. But every now and again, I will put a smaller one on. So now I'm going up to the security fence, which is never secure. But it was nice just to have a little wander, and people do picnic down on the beaches there. And down there, I've walked all the way out there when the tide's out. Fishermen still fish down here. Yeah, the bull. Now, through there, there's a load of sheep under some trees. That's where I often have a picnic, where they're shading. Um, I'm not going to do it today. I'm, I'm sort of continually walking, really. I've had a... I've just had a yoghurt bar. Just to tide me over. Yeah, you can walk down there to get down onto the beach. That's a route the fishermen used. But they probably go through here now and get down the steps. Bit easier. And over here, look. I'm not going to disturb them. But that is my picnic shaded area that I normally stop at. There's a, there's a prominent stone somewhere there. Near that sheep there, look. There's a stone there. He's lying on it. I think. Oh, no, there it's, no, it's further back. I usually sit on there and have my picnics. It's a gorgeous day today, everyone. Now, the only problem when you go, when you leave here, and it's hot, right? Right ahead of you is the sun. All the way. That's the worst part of this walk. But if you've got your hat on, make sure you shade your face, your forehead and your nose. And you just do a nice gentle stroll and drink water. You'll be fine. I've got my suntan protection on. Not suntan, skin protector. Factor 50. There is a breeze which is very, very welcoming. And uh, so I'm leaving that area behind now. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of adventures I wanted to do, but I don't really... It's like I wanted to go to Totnes. I'm thinking of doing that in August now, which is only a couple of weeks away. About a week and a half would be the 1st of August, for example. No. Um... A week Sunday will be the 30th. Yeah, no, no, about just under two weeks will be August. I would have, I would have uh, forked out for all the birthdays by then. So I might treat myself to an August trip away. Go down to Totnes for the day and visit the old farm. I mean, I've done it in this heat before now. I've been down there in July in the heat visited the old castle, the guild hall, the market, walked up Totnes Hill, oh my goodness, not the roadway, that's a death trap. When I lived in the cottage down there, three people were killed just while I was there, in their cars, I think they were, or they might have been walking. I did push Sora's pram up at once, and I said I'd never do it again. Yeah, very, very, very dangerous. I know I go across country, but it is all uphill. Right, I'm going to turn off now for a bit.